Hello, fellow gunners. Hey, I'm back at the oven. <laughs> okay, giving this a little bit of thought about these pre lube bullets and the A locks sticking to it. Well, if I'm cooking it and it ain't coming off, why can't I try to powder coat it anyway and see what happens? So, well, oh, I got some in here. We're going to swirl these around until they're covered in the uh, light violet. Then we're going to put it on here with the bases down and, you know, the good old fashioned way. And then we're going to bake the old powder coat on. And then we're going to give it the old Thor's test. We're going to beat the crap out of it with our Mjolnir and see if, uh, see if it clings. Catch it in a little. All right, guys, I've swirled this and swirled these. The uh, coverage on this is kind of iffy. I don't know if it's because they're still kind of got some kind of film on them or what, but hopefully when it bakes, it'll cure it out. Be back. All right, guys, got me a sample lot here. We'll see what this, how these come out. Might be recasting them before you know it. All right, so I've got my oven at, on bake at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put them in there for 20 minutes. See what happens. Clings it clings it don't it don't. Alright. Be back in 20 minutes. Alright guys, it's been 15 minutes. It's already glossed over. It's actually, I'm starting to get a smell of the lubricant melting. Uh, or baking. I don't know what Alox does. I don't know if it bakes, melts. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pull it out and let it cool and then we're going to test it see if it's going to adhere wow they actually look pretty good guys this is hot so i'm not going to hold on to it wow okay i'm pleasantly surprised it looks like it is covered really well We'll find out here in a minute when old uh, Mjolnir gets a hold of it. See if it hang, if it holds on, if it coated really well. I bet a lot of you are asking, hey Tim, how come you're using parchment paper instead of your silicone mat? Because if there is any grease on there or lube left, I don't want it on my silicone mat. I can throw the parchment paper away if it gets lube on it. All right, guys. Wanna, I've done another batch. I swirled them in the light uh, violet. I, I, earlier I may have said velvet. I don't know why I have velvet on the mind. But anyway, light violet. But then I, I was thinking, okay, maybe they don't look like it's covering that well. But I'm, I'm presently surprised it looks like it's covered really well. So I, I threw the ones that I had coated in my dark zombie mix. And let me just show you one. Oh, there goes my parchment paper. Check this out, guys. That looks pretty cool. After I bake it, I hope it still looks that cool. Okay, I'm going to put this on the tray. And now I bought me some trays with hose in them. I got a feeling that's going to scorch that... Uh, parchment paper but we'll see all right guys uh, I've got them on the tray it's a dark zombie with the uh, violet on it kind of kind of looks kind of weird 
I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the Elvis ammo thing on this. I'm going to drop my tray down on the bottom tray. And I'm going to set it on 250. All right. Well, I guess I should have seen if these fit before I bought them. Will they fit this way? No. Oh, wow. Well, that really sucks. Well, they're in there. All right. Like I said, okay. Now, he said 13 minutes at uh, 2.50. I don't know what my oven's at, but right there, we got her set at uh, 13 minutes. I know he said not to preheat my oven, but I just took a batch out, so it's already warm. We're going to see how these come out in 13 minutes. All right, uh, let's go over here. Pardon the mess on my... Uh, Table saw. Nope. This is just some wax that the old lady had left over. Thought I'd melt it all together and use it for flexing wax. As you can see, it didn't come out of the ingot, ingot mode very well. Alright. Oh, they're cool now. Alright. Let's see if we can find. Mjolnir. All right, we're gonna take one of these. I'm gonna give you a close up of it. See, looks really good, guys. Covered a lot better than I thought it would. So it is totally covered. Not a, not a blemish on it. Looks great. All right, now. Uh, I'm probably going to need some vice grips. Where's my vice grips go? Well, you know, I actually put them in the toolbox. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to clamp on to the end of this so I don't hurt my little fingers. Okay, so here's the results. It looks like right where the lube is in the lube groove, it flaked off. But everywhere else, on the, I guess you call them lands parts, it, uh, it held on pretty good. So, I think it'll be all right. I am not going to mess with the ones that I have not tried to melt down. I, uh, way I look at it, it ain't worth the time and effort to uh, try and strip that down if it ain't going to come off anyway. I'm just going to keep shooting it traditional. Be done with it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> hey, guys. I heard you. I did. You're going to hate Tim. What about your other bullets? Y you left without showing us what happened to them. Well, I'm back. I heard you. All right, guys. It's been about 12 minutes. These are about done. We've seen what happened when we smashed the other one. Right there in the grease groove where the uh, A-locks hung out. Still there. It didn't quite stick, it flaked off. Now when I shoot them, hopefully, you know, the powder won't... I'm hoping there's going to be enough seal on the back side of that lance that it's just going to catch it and push it on out. We'll see. We'll do some shooting with it, see what happens. Well, these are about ready to come out.
I had them on there for two and a half degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes. Like uh, Elvis Ammo does. We'll see what kind of results we get. Like I said, it, it's about done. Ah, there it is. Just want to do some trimming on my tray. Well, there they are, guys. They uh, seem to cover. You can see that purple in that grease groove. That's kind of cool. As soon as these cool off, I'll show you a little closer. Put them over here in front of the fan. You can see my collection of mess here. Got some pure lead ingots over here hanging out. I uh, poured that wax in there. That'd be interesting. Maybe I'll put that in the freezer and it'll pop loose. I don't know. Now I've got, you know, my experiment with the uh, 380 casing, swedging some 357 bullets. See how that comes out. All right, guys. I'll be back when these cool off. All right, guys. They've cooled off. Here's what they look like. A little purple groove. That's pretty cool. Alright. So let's hit this with a hammer and see what happens. Okay, just like on the purple ones. The, it's, it is stuck on there good, except for right in the groove. Right where... That A-LOX is hanging out. Alright. So now we know. Alright. I got another little treat here. I can get some of this junk out of the way. Put in there as close as I can. Alright. Oh, now. now this bullet sizing die is 358 we're gonna see if any of it comes off nope didn't any of it scrape off now it's on the purple all right let's try a green one come off this actually might work out pretty good of course it's not sizing that much because they were sized to start with just depends on how thick the uh, powder coat is guys yep. doesn't look like I'm sizing them that much I don't even know if they're worth sizing my, my uh, calipers are in the house 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to conclude it on that. Uh, okay, we've done the hammer test. We've done the sizing test. We've looked at them. Oh, done them both ways. I've done them with the 300 or the 400 at uh, uh, 20 minutes. And then we've done the 13 minutes at 250. I didn't see that it made that much of a difference. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I take my fingernail here and run over it, and it don't peel it off or catch it. So uh, I hit it with a hammer, and it stayed. So uh, yeah, guys, I think the. Uh, 250 degrees Fahrenheit at uh, 13 minutes. Works pretty good. Alright guys, I'm out. Catch you in the next video.